Hi there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos channel. We are continuing with Scratch tutorials, we are continuing with learning Scratch blocks, and in this video today we are going to learn how and when to use Go to Layer block, Go to Front or Back layer. Ok, let's go to Scratch to see this in action. In last video we have added some green shape which represents acid, acid pond and when cat touches it, it says something like ouch, this is acid run from it. The problems we had was that um, when you leave the This works on, so when you touch the shape, you cat says, ouch, this is acid, but when you leave that shape, when you go over it and go further, cat is keep saying that, so that's one problem. And the second problem is the that cat is behind this shape instead of in front of it. That second problem, which which we can see now, uh, we are going to solve it today. So um, before that, uh, uh, I just uh, want to explain layers in short. But you have already seen that uh, layers. If you are using Photoshop or similar uh, softwares, you probably know what layers are and how they work. If not. You can see it now on the stage. We have the green shape and the cat. Green shape is over the cat. The cat is behind it. So um, those two shapes, cat and this green shapes, they are on different layers. Layer on which the cat is is behind in the back and layer on which we have the green shape is in front and uh, we want to change that uh, you have just to keep um, you have to watch that uh, how um, scratch na names those layers in terms of um, what is front what what is back and that's not um, the same for some other softwares maybe and um, also we will have some problems later maybe if we make some more complex games so for example we, if we have three four or more shapes so that means we won't have just front and back layer but many many more layers but we will talk about it later for now let's see just how to solve this problem with two shapes, front and back. <coughs> uh, the first solution is, um, I found it by um, accident, uh, uh, when I click and drag this shape or any shape on the stage, that shape becomes the front layer shape. That shape becomes the shape which is on the front layer, the one which is the closest to us. So if I click the cat now and drag it, the cat will become will uh, uh, go to the front layer, just like that. So you see, we have uh, and now we have just solved the problem by clicking and dragging the the character. In our case, that that was the cat. So you just have to click and drag the character you want to be in front, on the top of everything and that one will be the first, uh, that, that character will be the, on the top layer. So if we try the game now, cat is on the top of the shape, it looks like it, run, uh, it steps in the acid pond, that's cool. So we actually just click on the cat, drag it a little bit left and right and now it's on the top layer. 
but uh, this solution is not really good because maybe later we will mm, um, click on some other shape by accident on some other character or maybe we have to rearrange our scene our environment so for example if I have if I choose to move this green shape acid shape here then start it again now the cat will be behind it again why because I have just moved the, the green shape and whenever you move any kind of shape that shape will become the first the top sh uh, shape the shape on the top front layer so we have to uh, find better solution than drag and drop you can use drag and drop uh, technique for some occasions but uh, we will have to learn how to do it better and the better way is easy don't worry and all you have to do is go to your looks block blocks looks group of blocks go to the bottom of them and there they are, we have uh, there two layer blocks pick the first one which says go to front layer if we click on the arrow drop down menu we have two options go to front or back layer we want our cat to be on the front layer right so all we have to do is attach it and wh where do we want to attach it we want to attach it to the when green flag clicked block then attach forever behind it below it and now when we uh, I will now click on the green shape to make it top one just to see if we if this block go to fr front layer will work when I gr click on the green flag I clicked on, gr on the green flag and the cat is on the top layer front layer sorry I will sometimes sometimes say top but I mean front layer first layer and uh, that's it same thing we could do instead of attaching this go to front layer to the cat we could click on the acid and said go to back layer I will first put the green shape on the front layer because I drag and drop it now and now it's on the front layer but because we have coded it to go to back layer when I click on the green flag now it will be on the back let's see if it works yeah it works great okay so I just showed you that so you can <coughs> pick what whatever uh, wherever you want to add code you can add code to uh, the green shape and put it back to the back layer or you can add it to the cat and put the cat to the front layer but that's what we wanted to do we want the cat to be closest to us on the front layer and we want the green acid to be in the back and you can actually add both because nothing changes here uh, cat will be on the front when if we say so and the green shape will be on the back right if you try it yeah it works great uh, good good uh, technique good uh, I think good idea is to have the main character on the first I mean on the top front layer and then put some shapes behind it if needed that's not always the case sometimes you need uh, for example you if you have some maybe we will edit later in our video maybe if you have some walls in front of the character so they will have to be on the front layer and the cat will be behind them back and so on and the problem will be when you have more than one layer uh, that's um, in uh, scratch i think i don't i'm not sure i have read a little bit about it and i think you cannot see the number of the layer so if i have um, uh, f five 
uh, five different sh shapes and I want to put them on some different layers I can do that with uh, this second block go forward uh, or go backward one two three or however how many you want layers but you will not see exactly on which layer that shape is so for example I know this cat is on the front layer but scratch numbers it and I don't know if it numbers it with zero one or so on and the back layer the, the this green shape is on the back layer but it has some number and I'm not sure which one you will have to deep dive into the scratch into some of scratch files to see those numbers and that's kind of more advanced I will uh, not show it here now uh, maybe later in some more advanced videos but for now we will stop with this technique and uh, just learning that you can put shapes to the back and to the front layers and that's it for now and in the later videos when I check how those numbers uh, uh, layer numbering works in scratch I will then explain this second go forward backward layers block and also we will try to add more shapes and then test how we can put them one behind another one behind other shape and I think that's it and uh, for this video yeah maybe just um, but we don't have that also a uh, good idea would be to put uh, user interface like buttons and uh, health bar and your ammo and so on those kind of um, uh, sprites th those kind of photos they are called user interface U UI and they are uh, always on the top layer so we will put them on the front layer but for now we don't have them so for now we have to be happy that we have made the cat on the front layer we have put the cat on the front layer and the green acid on the back layer everything works fine so far and we have solved the problem of shapes being behind or in front of each other but we have not solve the second problem which says uh, which was uh, how to delete this text this text bubble say bubble when the cat is not on the green acid because if we test it when the cat touches it it's cool it works but when it goes back this text stays on on the screen and we don't want that and that's what we are going to learn in next videos that's it for now and i hope i will see you in the next videos bye for now